Hi everybody, it's Lorena and welcome to Nature. Uh, today we're going to be looking a little bit at decomposition. So we're going to make a tiny composter that you can track over the next 12 weeks and you can go from all of this gross organic material and kind of useless stuff to good quality dirt just through the process of decomposition. So the first thing you're going to need is a jar and you're going to want to puncture holes in the top of the jar. A good way to do this is with a hammer and a nail and an adult who can help you. The way I did it was with a screwdriver that I kind of bashed into it repeatedly. It led to large holes that might be less effective. What you kind of want is like a nice pattern of, of good small holes. Something a hammer and nail will be able to help you with rather than just a screwdriver. Okay, so you need a jar. You're gonna want organic yard waste and dirt. So that could be like, I have a bunch of dry leaves and soil. Okay. A good way to get that is to help your adults clean up the yard. Uh, so you could, you know, do some weeding and get some stuff that way, get rid of all those dead leaves that are left around and then take a little bit of dirt as your reward. Um, you're going to want some organic food waste. So got some, some onion stuff, eggshells, etc. Make sure that there's not meat though. Then the other thing you're going to need is newspaper. I don't have newspaper, so I'm using some notebook paper that's pretty thin and I'm just going to shred it really small. That might be the case for you as well. And you're going to need rainwater. I've been collecting rainwater in a pot, so I'll show you that later. Uh, and you're also going to want a Sharpie or some sort of permanent marker. Okay, so first thing you're going to do, you're going to open your jar and basically you're just going to be creating layers of things. So. You're going to put some dirt in your jar, kind of enough to cover the bottom. Then comes the newspaper. So I'm going to shred some strips of paper. That seems like enough. Then you're going to put some of the kitchen scraps in. So, ooh, what a fun adventure. Ugh, eggshells. Ew. It might feel icky. That's how life is. <laughs> Onion? Yeah. Ugh, ugh. Gross, gross, gross. Um, let's do a, a hunk of tomato. Yum. Okay. I've been keeping my stuff in the freezer. I don't know if that's going to make it less effective or not, but it made it less effective for getting ants in the house. So... That's a positive. And then you're going to put some of your dead stuff. So, or not dead stuff, your organic material. So I've got kind of some leaves and whatever. And then you're just kind of going to repeat that process again. So the last thing that you need to do, this is where the rainwater comes in. I'm, I have this big pot of rainwater and I am going to take a cup of it um, and I'm going to put a cup of water in the jar. Nice, and it's kind of filtering to the bottom slowly. I don't know if you can see that it's doing like cool bubbly things there as it sinks, which is neat. Um, I probably filled my jar too full, so I don't know how effective this is going to be. That's okay. So the last thing you're going to do, you're going to screw on your lid, which you've punctured holes into using a hammer and a nail and an adult. And then you're going to mark a line where the top of your organic material is. Okay. So for me, the top of my line is, I'm going to say, it's really hard to tell because it's pretty much at the top, about right here. So I'm just going to put a big line there. I'm also going to put my name on the top because that way I know it's mine. And if you have multiple people in your house doing this sort of experiment, that's a good way to keep on top of things. So I have a line at the top of my organic material. Every two weeks, I'm going to put a new line of where it is. So I might even put the date on this one. Today is... May 19th, so I'm going to put that next to it. I don't know if you can see that. It says 0519, because that's today's date. Every two weeks, I'm going to mark 
the top of the organic material. And after 12 weeks, it should be good compost, which means like essentially good soil that you can then put in your garden, okay? Or you can even start a little garden in your jar. That would, oh my gosh, that'd be extra cool. Okay, so now that you've got your super cool compost jar, you're gonna wanna put it in somewhere sunny but out of reach. But you don't want it to be somewhere where it can be knocked over because that is like the worst possible thing to have spill in your house. This is where my jar lives now. This window gets a lot of sun. I left it with its sharpie and its holes. And hopefully it turns into compost. Enjoy your adventures in decomposition. Get outside and go brush your teeth.